Okay guys, uh, Santa Rosa's had a lot of uh, famous residents. Charles Schultz of Peanuts fame. Uh, lived here for uh, 40 years. Natalie Wood, movie star, did some of her growing up here. Lloyd Bridges went to uh, high school, famous for uh, Sea Hunt. And of course across the street you really can't see it too well but the uh, Luther Burbank home and gardens across the Santa Rosa Avenue from Juilliard Park but those people are all great, but they all came from somewhere else. For my money, the most famous Santa Rosen of all is the one that time is sort of forgetting, but anybody over the age of, say, 35, 40 years old, if I say Ripley's Believe It or Not, you'll be interested immediately. It used to be a staple in the uh, Sunday comics, Believe It or Not, all the strange and odd facts. Well, Robert Ripley was born here in uh, Santa Rosa, and behind me you can see the very famous Church of One Tree. Now, this church was relocated to this area because there was a time it was going to be uh, torn down, and a lot of people in the city like, ooh, ooh, can't do that. You know, Robert Ripley is one of our few uh, own homeboys here. So they relocated it and rebuilt it to this area, but the distinction still holds. And this was Robert Ripley's very first, believe it or not, of all, I think back in the 1920s or early 30s, Ripley's Believe It or Not, I think it began in New York, the New York Daily News, something like that, where he worked. But this church was built entirely of just one huge redwood tree. And it's henceforth known as the Church of One Tree. There's not many churches, the door, the windows, everything but the glass was made out of one single giant, huge, enormous redwood tree. And you can even see the spire up on top uh, behind me over here was that too. So I'll give you a better look at it uh, now. And it stands about, though, I would say about 40, 45 feet tall, the tip of the spire. And it's a very handsome church tucked in between the uh, redwood trees. But uh, for those that uh, live in Santa Rosa, they will know it as the uh, Ripley Church, the Church of uh, One Tree. So kind of an interesting thing that uh, one, ch one church could be made out of one tree. But uh, there you see it behind me, the uh, Church of One Tree. In Santa Rosa, not only was it uh, in Ripley's Believe It or Not, but it was the very first featured item in uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not. And we know Robert Ripley went on to tremendous fame. There was a TV series, I think in the 70s or 80s. There was uh, all kinds of books published and things. And it was always, always in a paper. It was one of the most popular features of all time. So it was kind of weird to have two famous newspaper guys, Charles Schultz doing the peanut strips and uh, Robert Ripley, uh, Santa Rosa's own, doing the uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not. If you go way back, guys, I'm talking almost two years ago to my early uh, earliest upload, you'll see where I went over to Franklin Park Cemetery here, which has been voted one of the ten creepiest cemeteries. <laughs> <laughs> in America because the earthquakes have made the ground all undulating and some graves are up 10 feet so that's really a creep creep show in itself but uh, that's where he's buried and if you look at his tombstone well I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you I'll let you go back and uh, search that uh, Robert Ripley's uh, gravesite okay thanks for being along on a little side shoot here with the Rosie girl at the uh, Church of One Tree here in Santa Rosa, California, USA.